Season 2 of my team just dropped. We're currently level 1, but in this video, we're going to be reaching level 40. We're also going to be getting all of these things from the Pro Pass and the Hall of Fame Pass because we're getting that too. And then along the way, we're going to get some insane rewards. Like this season pass looks so good because we have some 87 plus option packs. There's also this 90 plus option pack, this deluxe pack wheel spin, a 90 plus overall premium player option pack, a diamond James Worthy. And when we come all the way to the end, we get the most crazy prize of the them all. Being, yes, a pink diamond Tyrese Halliburton. And that card actually looks really good. So, Angus, how are you going to reach level 40? Well, first things first, we're going to come over and we're going to buy the Hall of Fame pass straight away. So now that we've bought that, we should be up to like level 13 or something like that after we get all these level skips. So first things first, we do end up getting a diamond Carl Anthony Towns for getting the pro pass. And then when we go through these, you can see all of these rewards, which are unlocking instantly, which is an amazing sight to see. We end on level 11. So now we can just claim every single one of these rewards. We're level 11 all already. Now we've got some Ascension picks. The player's Diamond Buddy Healed, which is actually a pretty sick card. And right now we've got 15 picks. It's pretty likely that we are actually going to get this Buddy Healed. And I actually forgot you can go like select all, can't you? Yeah, if I just go select all, you can just select every single pick. That's kind of cool. Maybe I didn't want to do that though, because I wouldn't just go in a row the way it's opening right now. But hopefully we get the level up very soon. There it is. And now if I just select like a bunch of these, it means I don't have to open them individually, which will be kind of nice. And then hopefully we get the level up straight away and then we'll be able to go. So let's go all of these ones. Let's flip all of those and hopefully we get the level up. We get a foul straight away, but hopefully we get the level up before like five picks. That's what I'm hoping for. And there it is on pick number eight. So now I've got a chance in a nine picks right now to actually get this buddy healed, which will be kind of crazy just after getting the Hall of Fame pass if we're getting that quickly. But there are all my picks. So let's flip this. And the good thing is on this board too, you actually can get, I'm pretty sure, some good packs as well as getting this diamond buddy healed. And at least diamond buddy healed actually doesn't look too bad of a card. We get three times multiplier, which isn't too bad only makes it 750 MT. Now for this pick right here, it's a three point royalty base pack. Two times multiplier. What's that gonna give us for the MT value? It's a diamond shoe. Okay, we get a thousand MT. And now we've just got two picks to go that I'll just do individually. Let's do one like almost smack bang in the middle, another 500 MT. And now for our final pick of this Ascension Ball, we've still got so many to go, another 500 MT. Anyway, so we're now level 11 and you might be wondering, how am I gonna get to level 40? Well, we're gonna hit that button right up there and we're just gonna go level skips. So we're gonna go all the way up to level 40. We're going to buy 29 level skips. Personally, I don't recommend doing this if you guys want to play the game. I'm just doing this to show you guys what we get for content. As yeah, this is quite expensive. Anyway, it's been purchased. And now when we back out, we will see that we have already completed season two because just like that, we're unlocking every single one of these rewards right here, which is absolutely beautiful to see because just like that, literally the season has been out for one day and we have already completed level 40. So bring me up to level 40 and let's get this pink diamond Tyree Halliburton. Now we just have to claim every single one of these rewards right here. It looks beautiful, but let's press X and let's claim it all. I absolutely love it. Just like that, literally the entire season pass has been completed. We've got the premium rewards too, and I'm really excited to open these up. As now if we back out, we've got another Ascension board. Obviously it's the same player, but here we've got 50 picks. You would hope we get Buddy healed from this. I don't want to go select all because I actually want to make it somewhat random. So let's just pick a bunch of random ones right here. And if you see all those picks right there, that's going to be the ones that we do. So what? We need to just press X to flip selected. And you'll only see the good things that I end up getting from this. This one right here, a badge award pack. You won't be seeing that. I truly thought in the blog when they said you could select all and then just flip it, it was literally just going to be one button where it'll flip every single one of the cards at once. I didn't think we'd have to sit here and open up every single one. But to be fair, the only reason this is boring is because we bought every single level. If we were doing it the way normal people do it and just grinding out the game, you'd only be doing like seven picks at a time. But doing 50 definitely takes some time. Let me just say though, I'm definitely not complaining. We got plus two picks. Oh, we get a greatest of the greatest errors pack. I can't even speak, but that's a good one. 20 picks down and we still haven't seen the grand prize of Buddy Hield. Maybe on this one? Nope. Man, we really haven't got many packs or anything like that. Yeah, a diamond shoe is not bad, but we haven't got anything too crazy so far. Oh, we get a greatest errors 90s pack. Bro, we actually don't have too many picks to go. Like what? We've got 13. Literally only 13 picks until it's over and we haven't seen him yet. We get a Dukes of the Dunk base pack. The thing is, all these packs we're getting are just base packs, which kind of makes them a little bit worse. But we're now under 10 picks and we still haven't seen this buddy heal plus three picks that's gonna help we get a gems of the game pack to end off the 50 that we just did which is crazy to say the fact we just did 50 we get an nba deluxe pack sure but bro we don't have many more picks to go i'm now doing these by myself without doing the select all method but we still haven't seen this diamond buddy healed. We're getting so many diamond shoes. There's no way after getting the Hall of Fame pass and going through getting level 40 that we don't end up getting this diamond card, which would be crazy to not see him. 
but we're going to have to come clutch. There's literally only three more picks to go. Three more picks to go. Is he in the top right? I feel like he's right here. I reckon this is Diamond Buddy Hield. No, it's not. It comes down to our final pick. Are we actually going to see this Diamond Buddy Hield in this? What on our final pick? We got him. Now that right there is clutch. We just ended up getting this Diamond Buddy Hield. All right, I did not expect that, but that's a W. Now we get to drop the ball. I actually don't know what this is for. Oh, we just get an NBA Series 1 player. So obviously we're going for one of the Amethysts. They are all on auctionable, so it doesn't really matter. But I think Jokic, I don't actually have him on auctionable yet. So that's why we're going to aim it for the dark blue to the right. We're going to drop it about here and hopefully we can get that. It's actually really nice seeing the ball drop because I feel like we haven't seen it too many times this year, but it's going way too central. Actually, it's not. Bro, we almost got it. We got the pink. That's going to be Victor Wembanyama. I mean, we'll take it. But in annoying news, yeah, I might have to either add him to the exchange or just quick sell him because I already have him on auction So let's just quick sell him. Next up, we have the spin the wheel. And I think this is for the deluxe pack. Am I right in saying that? Is it a deluxe pack? Yes, it is. Okay, which pack do we want the most? None of these guarantee a diamond or higher. They all have like gold cards in them. So to be honest, whoa, I actually haven't even seen the spin the wheel this year. But let's stop it there. And let's see what pack we're actually going to get. It's Power Surge Deluxe. I guess we'll take it the thing is though we can get golds from this now we have another spin the wheel okay it looks like it's just exactly the same thing but we'll definitely do it again and what pack are we going to see this time stealth mode we'll take that one of the new releases of packs and that's it for all the things right there so now when we come over to the pack market and when we come over to our unopened packs yeah look this is where we have just a bunch of things sitting here and when i say a bunch i seriously mean it look at all these packs that we have right here that we are yet to open just from going through that season pass and reaching level 40 it's actually kind of crazy we're still Still going and that's all the stuff right there you can see too this is how much mt i started off this video with then when we got level 40 i got this much this is how much vc i was on at the start now we're at this much which i guess is actually pretty good first of all let's start off with the rewards we get from the pro pass and the first reward the best reward that you get is actually this diamond carl anthony towns and trust me this card actually looks really good. I think he's got a 93 ball. He's got like 80 speed. His defense isn't the best, but he can play power forward, which certainly makes him a lot better. So Carl Anthony Towns for the pro pass. I got to say, I reckon this card is actually a huge W. So there we go with Cat in the Knicks uniforms, and we will take that. Next up, we do get this pack with a bunch of diamond shoes, a Hall of Fame badge, and some takeovers, I'm pretty sure, for just getting the pro pass. So there's our Hall of Fame badge. It's guaranteed to be dead eye. Then there's the diamond shoes, and there's our takeover. So that's kind of cool too. I actually kind of like those shoes as well. Then the level one reward is actually this Sapphire Jamal Murray, who isn't too bad because you can evolve him into a Ruby and then it makes him quite a bit better. It's also a really cool looking card though. And let's just first of all, go through all the players we get. So then the next player we end up getting is this Ruby Christian Braun. Again, you can see the theme. It's just Nuggets players right now, but that's pretty cool. Next up, going away from that theme, we do actually get our first player. That is a shake from the season pass. And that's going to be Obi Toppin as an Amethyst 91 overall. And to be honest, if you guys are running on a budget, this card definitely doesn't look bad he can dunk he can shoot so you'll definitely take that 93 close shot that's the stat that we get so obi toppin i feel like it's a win from the season pass and again you don't need the pro pass to be able to get here but next up this player right here looks absolutely insane and it's going to be none other than diamond james worthy so again we see the diamond animation but diamond james worthy is always a beast in 2k and given this card is what level like 34 or something in the pro pass no in just the normal pass definitely isn't bad at all because he looks like such a beast all around he's got great stats so we'll take him too the final player we have to open is this man right here but we're going to save that for the end right now let's just go through and do all these option packs right here we have quite a few 84 pluses then we got some 87 pluses and then some 90 pluses so we're definitely just going to take both the rubies right here even though i'm probably going to quick sell them but at least we got two pluses in that last one because it's 84 plus we got two 87s this one right here we get uh yeah an 84 87 pluses this time i would love to see at least an amethyst from these packs right here we get two hollows okay that's actually kind of sick but is it because i already have them hollow i don't know let's go paul george though this one is another 87 plus once again can we see something better than okay well we get paul george again and it's sure we've the thing is all these players are unauctionable so we just quick selling all of them. for this 87 plus we can actually pick two cards which will be exciting can we see an amethyst though we get jar moran and once again paul george we've seen that card way too often okay now we have these exciting ones though the 90 plus these are guaranteed amethyst 
Memphis, Ohio. Let's do our first one and let's hope we don't see NBA Series 1 players. So first one up, it's all NBA Series 1. I didn't even have this Jason Tatum though, so we will definitely take him. At least we've now got him unauctionable and now we've got our next one up. I think we can pick two in this one and we get Devin Booker. Which one do I have unauctionable? I don't know. I think I might've had all of these guys unauctionable. Maybe Devin Book. No, I think I had all of them unauctionable. Let's just go D Book. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I did if we go like that. Yeah, we did. Okay, well, we can add him to the exchange. Is that worth it? Probably not. And for that reason, I think I'm just going to quick sell him for 800 MT, which is definitely a now. To be honest though, this pack right here is probably the one I'm most excited for because it's a 90 plus overall premium option pack, which means we get three cards, which are guaranteed to be from one of these promos right here rather than NBA Series 1 players. So you never know. We could see Pink Diamond LeBron, but we're more than likely going to see a player like an Amethyst Eric Money. You never know though. This could be huge. So this was the thing I saw in the season pass and I was super excited to open up. So let's open it up and let's see what we end up getting. Okay. I thought it was a I thought it was a premium player. Wait, what? I, it's not a pro. What? I thought that's what it meant, but it doesn't. We get Jokic. Okay, that wasn't as exciting as I thought. We now have this random Hall of Fame badge. Actually getting Hall of Fame badges is really good this year because some Hall of Fame badges can be added to cards and certainly make themselves for a lot more in the auction house. This badge, Pick Dodger, is definitely a good one because you kind of want badges that aren't already on a lot of players and Pick Dodger definitely isn't on a lot of them. So the same thing goes for this option pack and you end up getting this option pack from having the pro pass and I think reaching level 39 as well. So these are all the badges that we get. I don't really know which one to go. Which is the best badge out of these? I don't know. Like if I'm using a big, definitely Rise Up is good. Dimer's obviously a nice one, but I feel like a lot of players come with Dimer. Oh, I don't know which one to do. I now feel bad. I wish we had like On Ball Meta, so that was an easy choice. But I think for right now, I'm going to go a really weird badge and I'm actually going to... No, I don't think I should. Yeah, I think I will. Let's just go Rise Up right now. That's fine though, because we do still have every single one of these packs remaining right here. And I'm not going to open these option packs on camera, like the badge ones, the takeover ones and things like that because they're just super boring, but we do at least have these deluxe packs over here. And you never know, these could actually be quite good because this is what we got from the wheel spin. So our power surge one, imagine if we see Pink Diamond Kareem or Pink Diamond Curry. Actually, a Ruby definitely isn't bad from this pack. Then for our stealth mode pack, let's see if we can get something good from this one. Maybe a Ruby again or... Yeah, I thought it was going to be a gold. It is a gold. I guess we have this coach pack, which could hit us with a Ruby coach that sells for about 40,000 MT. It hits us with a Sapphire, which is kind of close. But now it's time for what we've been waiting for. These two packs right here. These two packs are guaranteed pink diamonds. So let's open up this one right here. This is just the season pass version. You don't need the pro pass. And I, from what I saw, there's no difference between the cards. So bam, just like that, we see the pink diamond animation for our first time in a long time. And yes, the season two level 40 reward is none other than Pink Diamond Tyrese Halliburton, but trust me, Tyrese Halliburton this year actually looks really good because his release is nice. It's a bit different, but at least it's a really nice release. And just like that, we get our first version of Tyrese Halliburton. He's like swinging a bat, which is kind of interesting, but at least we got this card just like that. But now it's time for the version I'm actually going to use. And it's going to be beautiful to see it once again, but again, we are going to see it, the Pink Diamond animation. So I love to see it, the Pink Diamond again. And now let's flip it and let's get the cooler card art, the one that you get from getting the Pro Pass. And yes, it is none other than Pink Diamond Tri Tyrese Halliburton once again. And as I said, I'm pretty sure they have the exact same stats. We will check. But yes, a point guard from the Pacers. And this card art looks beautiful. And he's flexing in this one too. So Tyrese Halliburton, I love to see you. And welcome to the team. Now look, let's just quick open all this stuff and see what we get right here. We got a bunch of rubies. Sure. We got a bunch of stuff. We actually got a lot of badges too. Another quick open. We get all of this stuff. We get On Ball Menace as a badge, which is actually a win. And now another quick open. We get Interceptor. That's good. And we get all of the season two My Team jerseys and stuff as well. Also, I actually think this green release looks so nice. Now the packs are just option packs that we don't really care to open too much, but we will in the future. But most importantly now, when we have a look at our team, we have to move Ja Morant to the bench. We have to take out Russell Westbrook. And yes, we have to put in this pink diamond Tyrese Halliburton. This card actually looks so good because you can see he's six foot five at the point guard position, 99 on offense, 94 driving layup, 94 three ball, only 75 driving dunk, which is a little bit of an issue. But then 92 ball handle, insane passing. The defense is actually pretty good too and he has some good athleticism with some good speed as well. Not to mention then 11 Hall of Fame badges. We will definitely have to badge him out to make him just a little bit better because he's going to need like on-ball menace and things like that upgraded just a little bit as well. But if we compare him to his other version, I'm pretty sure they are just exactly the same. Yep, stat-wise, they're exactly the same and badge-wise, they're exactly the same too. So literally this version is just a better card up. Now let's just quickly, okay, first of all, he's got so many hot zones. Let's see his release. So you can see it is a bit weird. Like that's the one thing I will say. It is a bit weird, but the one thing I will say, it is so quick. Like that's the thing 
I realized this with Tyrese Halliburton, I think it was like his Ruby card that I ended up trying out just for a couple of seconds. And it's actually such a quick release, which definitely means that you can pull these in transition and things like that too. You can see I'm getting late releases, which goes to show, okay, well, when, it, when the ball's actually not there, it's a bit more difficult, but at least we green at that time. But trust me, it's actually a super nice release. And of course, he's six foot five, so he can get those slams too. The one thing I do want to do though, is I want to try out this card. So we're going to be using this team right here in our first game of season two showdown. So anyway, without further ado, let's see how we go. Our opponent's team isn't too amazing, but man, I just want to see how this Tyrese Halliburton goes. So we're just going to try him out right now. Let's kick the ball back to him and let's see how he's able to do. He is quite quick. And as I said, he's six foot five, which definitely helps out. So Halley this time all the way, let's go up and get absolutely rejected. Look, probably not the best start we've ever had to a game, but the one thing we do know is he can shoot the lights out of the basketball. Let's take this one and let's actually slam that. It's a bit embarrassing, but we're actually kind of struggling right now. Halley, oh my word, that's an awful moving release. Like that is an awful moving release. I'm not gonna lie at all about that. Don't you dare make that shot. Let's pull down that board. But trust me, if you're going for a moving shot with him, it is not going in. It is absolutely not going in. Halley this time, Let's make that. Bro, four to 13 and you're giving him that short sort of shot. No, nah, that can't be happening. That literally cannot be happening. He's six foot five. You should not be getting stuff there. Come on, you're out here. You're out against Steph Curry. You know that he's going to finish that dunk there. We need to kick it back out to him here for a wide open two. We make that at least. And the players I'm comparing this to is definitely Diamond Russell Westbrook and Pink Diamond Jar. Maybe we just have to focus on actually trying to shoot some threes with this card because we've I literally not even attempted one other than that deep, other than that moving one, I'm pretty sure. So we got some couple dribble moves there. We've got Bruce Bowen wide open in the corner. Maybe he's just more of a facilitator. And that should have been an inbound steal. That should be a steal there. It's not at all. This should be a steal. It's an awful shot. Just give me that rebound. And now, Hallie, I see you. We know you're the facilitator now. And we know you can get us these scores. So let's get that slam there. Okay, that should be a steal. It is finally. Finally, we're starting to play well. And finally, we actually have the lead in this game. I can't believe how long it's taken us. But we've started to play a lot better with this squad. So I see you, Hallie, for the wide open three. It's your first wide open three. And I missed it too. Come on, Hallie. Let's stop. Let's pop. Let's pull that shot. And let's green it too. That's an inbound steal too. Come on. Let's take this one. Not all the way here. Let's kick it back out to Pascal Siakam. Let's get the assist. Let's get that to go. And now he's got takeover. So now we should be able to make a lot more shots. And we should be able to get a lot more drives. Just like so. With takeover, I just need to see some big plays from you here. Some big plays, including that one. Let's take it on Sangoon. We've got 10 seconds left. That doesn't matter. Look, I think it is just because I really suck with this card. Like, I can see people being good with him but i am so bad with him it seriously is kind of laughable right now like that's not a bad shot usually but because it's tyrese halliburton his release just wasn't quick enough and now i want to pump fake that because i wanted to get it with tyrese halliburton but he jumps with Singoon. now we need a good screen pull it from deep there we go we green that that's the type of shot we actually need to take and we actually need to make and you know what this is the type of lay i want you to make as well at least we're going to the free throw line for our first time it's a slow free throw he gets the first one it is for point number 30 so it's definitely not too bad we make the second two. Oh, and he just got injured. Well, I guess that's Tyrese Halliburton out for the day, which is definitely annoying. Um, in good news, Tracy McGrady comes in as my point guard. Not complaining at all with T-Mac as my point guard, but that's pretty much the end of the gameplay. I really wasn't great with that card, but I ended up getting better with him, so he definitely has potential. And when we actually just locked in, you can see we ended up winning by a lot of points. What's that, 24? Although we got injured, Halley had 30 points in 10 minutes and four assists, two steals, which isn't bad, including two threes. But most importantly, we did end up getting our first showdown win so at least that's a w so i guess the question is what are my thoughts on this tyrese halliburton look he's a good card but for me personally i feel like Ja morant's better for me and i also unfortunately feel like this russell westbrook's better for me it might just be because of the way i play but if you like to three hunt with your players and you need that quick release as soon as you get open tyrese halliburton will be a beast for you unfortunately that's not really my game i just like to drive and get dunks at least with my point guard so anyway at least we are now level 40 which is actually pretty crazy especially because we did get this Carl Anthony Towns as well. So I got to say, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.